just make sure to go and subscribe and uh, like, comment, share, all the good stuff. Ready, set, blah on all social media. Oh, my bad, y'all. I'm just trying to clean the kicks, you know what I'm talking about? Gotta had to do a show. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hey man, so you know, welcome back. If you tune in, you tuning in to Prime Time with Pookie. You know what I'm talking about? My name Pookie Jones. Always appreciate you rolling with us, rocking with us. You know what I'm talking about? It's that real 100% straight news, 100 proof. What we could call, it. we might as well trademark that right there. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know, we give you that real. We give you what they ain't giving you in the streets. You know what I'm talking about? Well. They don't really even be going to the streets. You know what I'm talking about? They be in the studio all hugged up in some AC. You feel me? But we out here. We in the streets. We in the hood. We are, we going to give you what you need. You know what I'm talking about? We going to give you that real, real. You feel me? So today we going we gonna to touch on the subject. We going to touch on the subject of gun control, man. That's probably one of the biggest debates. The fact that it's the Second Amendment. Uh, you know. It's just crazy, bro. Like, gun control is just really crazy. So, whatever part of the, you know, aisle you on, like, you just really need to pay attention and listen up. Because we got some real takes for you. We're going to give you that real. We're going to give you some hard facts. Give you some good little insight on the stuff. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, but in my eyes, you feel me? Like, it needs to be some sort of repercussions for what's going on, man. It's it was the deadliest year on record this year up in the U.S. No, I'm talking about over 300 mass shootings in 2017, bro. 2017 had over 300 mass shootings. Like, that's crazy, bro. Ain't no other country worrying about guns like we is. Because for some reason, there's just a fascination. Like, everybody fascinated with, like, they infatuated with guns. Like, dudes be thinking they make them a real man. Like, they tough now that they got a gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why a lot of cops... Over here killing people because they got a gun uh, killing black people and people of color. Let's put it right there like that. You know what I'm talking about? Because they got a gun, they feel like they popping now. They probably wouldn't have been able to beat them head up with them hands. So now they got a gun, they feel, you know, a type of world where they got a little bit of power. So now they, you know what I'm saying, they on top of whatever. But, you know, it's this infatuation with guns. So much in the U.S. and, they, you know, people killing people, you know, at a clip that ain't in no other country. No other country, like, you know, yes, it's the Second Amendment. You got the right to bear arms. We know that. If you don't know that, it's the Second Amendment. You got the right to bear arms. They put that provision in there a long time ago just in case the government got too big, you know, you'd be able to defend yourself. Now, people, for some reason, they got that mentality. Now, bro, if the government wanted to come and get you, They'll come and get you. That little AK you got, that little AR you got, that little Glock you got, that ain't going to do nothing if the government really wanted to come and get you and snatch you out your doggone house. If they wanted to snatch you out the house, bruh, they ain't bringing in baby guns. They bringing in, they bringing in guns that is big as Scooby-Doo, bruh. Like, these big guns, like the size of a Great Dane type guns, bruh. You ain't, that little Glock ain't going to do nothing for that. You feel me? So, like, that, but that be the mentality of the majority. Oh, man, like, what if the government come and, you know, they're going to take away our guns first? Uh, yeah, they're going to take away your guns first. If they wanted to get you, they'll just shoot you, bro. Or they'll blow your house up. Talking about if they want to get it. So, you think that little firefight going to work? Like, you going to have one gun and they going to come with, like, 30 people. They going to come a squat and the whole crew? Man, that's them right there. See, that's what happens when you live in the hood, bro. You hear that on the regular, bro. Man, but that's it's crazy that they be thinking like that. Like, they gonna be able to protect themselves if the government wanted to come. The government got tanks, bro. They got crazy bombs. You ain't got that sort of stuff. Man, come on. Get out of here with that crap. But, uh, yeah, man, 300 mass shootings, bro. It was crazy. It was crazy. Deadliest year. Uh, man. And people kind of want to know why we can't have gun control or what. Like, they ain't really looking at the deep, the nitty gritty. You feel me? Like, with a lot of the politicians, they ain't voting on the gun control in the U.S. because they in their pocket. Excuse me. Man. Been burping like a mug all day. They in their pocket. The NRA. Oh, man. I thought that was. Man. God, I'm fleeing here, man. I need to get up out here, man. I need to get up out the hood. Man, the NRA stands for the National Rifle Association. So, um. Uh, 
with the NRA, they ain't in the pockets of the politicians. You feel me? So that's why the politicians don't be voting against it. It's really that simple. This is how simple it is. If the politicians wanted to uh, to have some gun control, they could literally just write it in like within a week. It's really that simple. They don't want to do that, bro, because the NRA in their pockets, the majority of them are part of the NRA. The majority of them, and by majority, I mean Republicans, the GOP. We got a couple Democrats who are in the NRA as far as like uh, members of the NRA. Uh, who don't have the best ratings, some of them in there, some of them be responsible, but the majority of the people who in the pockets with the NRA, they the GOP, they the Republicans, so the NRA, they give them a whole bunch of money and fund their campaign, say, hey, I need you to do this, I need you to look the other way on this, and we gonna give you some money, we gonna throw you 400 k if you just, you know, add this in your bill, just put it on the last line so nobody pay attention. So because of that, they ain't trying to take it away. And guns is big money, okay? After uh, what you probably didn't know, after all these mass shootings, the gun sales go up because people got this notion. Oh well, you know, maybe if I was uh, maybe if I had a gun, I could have stopped the shooter. Nah, bro, that ain't. If you really have that mentality, you stupid. So we gonna add more guns to stop one gun. So you just gonna have a shootout everywhere. You gonna be in the damn Burger King, dudes gonna be shooting it out over a Whopper, for real. Man, you ain't giving me my walk. Man, you stole my walk. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like that's stupid, bro. So, you know, they in the pocket, so they can't vote against it. They they could vote against it. They don't want to vote against it. They in their pocket because the NRA all in their pocket. They got good ratings uh, with the NRA. That's for a reason, bro. And ain't no other country got to worry about that, man. You go you go somewhere else, man, another country, they be like, man, what's wrong with y'all, man? They be coming over here. Y'all really got an infatuation with guns. Like, why y'all killing each other like this? Why y'all love guns so much? They really think it because it's just stupid, bro. Like, you don't need to be having no gun for no reason. Like, why you need a gun? Oh, somebody going to rob your house? Okay, well, how about you get a security system? How about you get an alarm? All that stuff. Because the gun, uh, most of the time people be having guns and they still get robbed and they still get killed. So, you know what I'm talking about? Like, what, what we at with it? How about we spend a little extra on the security? Somebody try to come in your house, boom, the cops there by then. You know what I'm talking about? So, like, that's my whole stance on that little portion of it. Like, you keep thinking that, that gun, oh, man, I need it. You know, I need it to protect myself, to protect my stuff. Well, you keep thinking that, and then your little child going to be at the mall, and she going to get shot up because this random dude was able to get a gun, and he done shot the mall up because he got fired or because he just feeling weird one day. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, we really got to, we really got to, um, we really got to jump on that. You know what I'm talking about? We really got to jump on that because it's, it's real. It's real out here. You feel me? It's it's super real out here. Uh, let me see what's next. What's next on the agenda? Uh, man. So, like, when I say other countries be looking at it, it's a real simple solution. And, like, we could take one place, for example, Australia. In 1996, they had a mass shooting. It's called in Port Arthur. Port Arthur, real famous places where a lot of people come and visit, a lot of tourists, a lot of travelers. Poor Arthur, Australia, in 1996, uh, it was a mass shooting. 35 people killed, a bunch of people wounded. Mass shooting, Australia ain't no, man, Australia's like, man, we got to fix some shit. Within two weeks, bro, two weeks, legislation passed to ban guns that could kill a lot of people, to, to ban assault and semi-automatic, to, to ban shotguns, assault guns, uh, and uh, semi-automatic guns. Any gun that could kill people in a short amount of time, they banned them. They confiscated everybody's guns. And since then, they ain't had no mass murder shoots. It's really that simple. They got shook up from the situation, bro. It was a mass shooting. They said, no, nah, we need to we need to, we need need to, to squash this beef right here. We need to take this away. You know what I'm talking about? So they went. They took everybody's gun. They passed a strict law. They said, no, nah, you ain't going to be able to have this. So it's like, it's really that simple. Poor Arthur. That's what it's called. The Poor Arthur Massacre in Australia. Like, it was like, like, we literally got a model of what we need to do, and they still ain't. So it ain't, you know, why can't we? They know, they know they could. And we know why they could or couldn't. And they don't want to, you feel me? Man. But in other countries, even if you ain't going to do that, in other countries, it's way harder to get a gun. Here, man, you can get a gun before you can get a license. You can get a gun before you can get pizza, bro. Like, for real. Like, you can get a gun so easily here. You pass a little background check. Don't act crazy on the day you take the test. You can literally buy a gun that quick, bro. Like, on the real. 
But in other countries, you got to take a long test. You got to have a mental exam. You got to be months in it. It's a whole lot of money. Like, it's crazy how easy it is over there. But over here, like, it's it's super, like, or how easy it is over here. But over there, it's hard, bro. It's super hard over there. Like, you ain't just getting no gun walking around. Asking about what? What the hell? What you tell him? My ain't snitching no popos. That's what I ain't doing. Snitching on what? Nothing, ma. You know Trey got warrants. I ain't about to talk to no damn officer Johnny. Forget all that. <laughs> Crazy. Shut the hell up. Run up. She be. She don't even be paying electricity, man. I be paying electricity. She ought to be tripping on something. Man, I swear to God, boy, I can't wait till I move out of this mug, bro. But anyway, let's get back to it. But, um, man, I think on the real, like, that's, like, we got, we had Sandy Hook. We had the Sandy Hook shooting. 23 kids. Babies, bro. Babies got killed, bro. It ain't nothing changed. Y'all need to know, if it ain't changed after that, with little kids in school getting killed in a mass shooting, it ain't going to change. Little kids, but little little baby angels, bro, got their lives taken away on some dumb stuff. And, like, people over here, oh, you got the GOP, you got the Republicans coming up here rolling around. Oh, we need to pray. What you need to pray about, bro? What, what, what praying ain't going to do? God done gave you the tools to fix it, but you're talking about we don't need to pray. Dude, dudes out here selling their soul for that money, bro. Like, they letting people kill consistently on their watch, and they just letting it go through there like that, and they going to go to hell for that, bro. They could they could say what they want. They ain't no real Christians. They going to find their Christian butt in hell because uh, you letting that go, and you can stop it on the real, you going to go to hell for real. So, you know, other countries looking at us crazy, man. Like, we got models to follow, and we still ain't doing it for a reason, bro, because it's that money. That money talk with them guns, man. After every shooting... Gun sales go up, bro. Like, imagine that. Killed a whole bunch of people. Gun sales go up. People got that mentality. Oh, I got to protect myself. Nah, man. You need to go and take these people out of office. That's what, take these people out of office who voting to keep the guns uh, in people's hands. Get it out of people's hands. They don't lost the right. They don't lost the privilege to have a gun. You ain't no reason an everyday citizen need a gun. There just ain't. Like, you should have a gun. If you have a gun, it needs to be because you are in law enforcement or because you just did something crazy, like, job-wise, where you really need that crap. Like, we done lost the privilege to be able to do that on the real. That's, you take the guns off the street, it's going to be a lot safer. Look at other countries, bro. It ain't that difficult. Man, like that, it be getting me hot because they know they can help and they won't, bro. They letting people get killed. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I appreciate you tuning in, man. My name Pookie Jones. You know, another episode of Primetime with Pookie. I appreciate you, you know, and I'm going to holla at you. Just make sure to go and subscribe and uh, like, comment, share, all the good stuff. Ready, set, blah.